Chapter 10 Layouting and Publishing the Project In this chapter, we will create layouts and place drawings on them. We will get familiar with master layouts, title blocks, auto text entities, and layout grids, and experience how automated drawing placement can speed up the documentation process. We will work with the project organizer and finally publish a PDF design documentation set of the entire project with the single click of the mouse. Step 1. Creating Layouts In this step, we will create new master layouts. We will also create a smart title block using auto text items. These are generated in a smart manner and updated automatically. For instance, layout numbering schemes can be defined and placed as auto text items on the layouts. Close the favorites palette since we will not need this in this last chapter. Increase the size of the navigator palette at its right bottom corner. Open the Properties tab page at the bottom of the Navigator palette. Switch to the Layout book in the Navigator and display its content. Layouts are basically the digital representations of sheets of paper onto which drawings are placed. Layouts are updated automatically when the drawing sources are changed. Expand the Masters folder to display the existing master layouts. All layouts in the book are based on a master layout. Let's create a new master layout by clicking the New Master Layout button above the Properties tab page of the Navigator. Enter Arch-C Portrait for the title of the new master layout and click the Create button to proceed. Click to select the newly created Arch-C Portrait master layout from the Masters list of the Navigator. Click the Settings button in the Properties tab page to display its settings. Open the Name and Size page of the Master Layout Settings dialog. Click the drop-down list in the Size field and select C Architectural from the list. Click the Portrait Radio button to select the Portrait Orientation. Finally, click OK to accept these changes and proceed. Activate the A08 Interior Elevations Layout by double-clicking on its name in the Layouts folder of the Layout Book. When the layout appears, right-click it and select Fit in Window from the Context menu. Click to select the Architectural C Landscape Master Layout in the Navigator. Drag and drop this Master Layout onto the Interior Elevations Layout. Notice that the existing master layout has been replaced by the Architectural C Landscape Master Layout. Open the Architectural C Landscape Master Layout from the Master's Container of the Navigator. Select the Fit in Window option from the Context menu. Zoom in to the Title Block area of this master layout at its lower right corner. We have a pre-drawn title block already in place. Make sure that the guidelines and tracker buttons are activated in the standard toolbar. Shift click to select the text block with the text 2008. Right click and activate the move multiply command from the context menu. In the multiply dialog, turn on the drag radio button, set the number of copies to 6 and select the Increment Radio button. Finally, click OK to proceed. Click once and start dragging the cursor vertically down, wait for the vertical guideline to appear, and let the cursor gravitate to it. Type 5 slash 8 inches into the distance field of the tracker to set 5 eighths of an inch and press the Enter key. Press the Escape key to deselect the created copies. Select the lowest of the newly created 2008 text block. Drag it downward by an additional 7 sixteenths of an inch with the help of the guideline and the tracker palette.
with the lowest text block still selected. Enter 42 for the text size in the info box. Select the text block immediately above it. Enter 24 for the text size in the info box. Deselect the text block once you are done. All text blocks are in correct position, having the appropriate text sizes. Now, we'll modify their content. Select the File, Info, Project Info menu item to open the Project Info dialog. The Project Info dialog contains a predefined set of textual information about the project to be displayed in text block elements as auto text entities. Let's create a new Project Info item by clicking the New button at the top of the dialog. In the appearing new fields, enter Document Type in the Name column field. Enter Design Documentation in the Description column field. Finally, click OK to accept these changes and return to the master layout. Activate the text tool in the toolbox. Shift click the text block in the layout ID field to select it. Click the text block to enter the text editor mode and select the text if it's not selected. Click the insert auto text button at the text editor box. In the appearing insert auto text dialog, Select Layout in the category list at the top, and then select Layout ID from the Auto Text Items list. Auto Text Items are generated in a smart manner and automatically updated. For instance, layout numbering schemes can be defined and placed as Auto Text Items on the layouts and so on. Finally, click the Insert button to proceed. Click elsewhere to finish the text editing, and press Escape once to deselect the text block. Select the text block in the Scale field and click to edit it. Click the Insert Auto Text button again. Select Drawing in the Category list and select the Drawing Scale from the Auto Text item list. Click Insert to proceed. Terminate the text editing and deselect the text block. Select the text block in the Revision Number field and click into it to edit it. Type Not Applicable or NA in this field. Finish the text editing and deselect the text block. Continue updating the remaining text block items in the same manner as we did before. Insert the Long Date Auto Text item listed under the System category to the Date field of the title block. Insert the layout name auto text item listed under the layout category to the drawing field of the title block. Insert the document type auto text item listed under the project info category to the document type field of the title block. Activate the A8 Interior Elevations layout by double-clicking its name in the Layouts folder of the Navigator. Select the Fit in Window option from the Context menu. Notice that the content of the title block of this layout has been automatically adjusted to the characteristics of this layout. The Layout ID, Date as well as the Drawing Name fields are automatically filled in thanks to the Auto Text elements. There is no need to type or change anything. Reopen the Architectural C Landscape Master Layout from the Navigator. Let's place two images to the top of the title block area. Zoom in to the top right area of the layout. 
activate the figure tool in the toolbox. Click the Figure Settings button in the info box to open the Figure Settings dialog. Click the Open button in the Preview and Positioning panel of the dialog to bring up the Open File dialog. Select the Southeastern View image file located in the Chapter 10 folder of this guide. Click the Open button to open it. Let's change the size of this raster image. Make sure that the Keep Proportions checkbox is selected. Type 180 into one of the resolution fields and notice that the other resolution field as well as the figure size fields will be automatically updated. Make sure that the middle anchor point is selected. Finally, click OK to proceed. Switch on the View Special Snap Option Half and also the View Special Snap Options Between Intersection Points menu items. Select View Guideline Options Create Guideline Segment menu item. Draw a diagonal line across the top rectangle frame of the title block. A temporary diagonal line is created. Hover the cursor over the temporary guideline and notice that its shape changes to a Mercedes sign. Find the halving special snap point with the smart cursor. The shape of the cursor will change to a check mark. Click once to place the raster image we selected with the figure tool earlier. Open the figure tool settings dialog again. Open the northeastern view image file from the same folder. Again, enter 180 into one of the resolution fields as you did before. Click OK to close the dialog. Select the Create Guideline Segment option from the Guidelines pop-up list in the standard toolbar. Make sure that both Half and Between Intersection Points options are selected in the Special Snap Point option of the standard toolbar. Place the second image under the previous one into the middle of the remaining empty field of the title block. Use the same placement method as you did before. We are now completed the editing of this master layout.